three, two, one, and. Hi guys, welcome to Easy Play Guitar. Today I'm going to teach you the intro of Lover's Moon by Glenn Frey. So let's start for a G chord. So it's like a D shape. This is your D shape. Just move 5 fret higher. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G. So the first plucking that I did is pluck the string 1, 2, 3, and 4 simultaneously. And then pluck the string number 3 and 2. I will put some tabs here for you to catch up with me. And then after G, we will proceed to D7 sus 4. So just place your pinky in 8th fret first string. So this is a passing chord. Just pluck it once. Same plucking in G. Pluck the string number 1, 2, 3, and 4. So again from the top. So we have two chords already. The third chord is an E minor. So it's a broken chord of E minor bar chord like this. So just pluck the string number 1, 2, and 5. And then pluck the string number 3 open. And then second string. Again from the top, G. Then after that, we will proceed to a C chord. So just place your pinky in first string, 8th fret. So this is also a passing chord, like D7 sus 4. Just pluck it once. Pluck the string number 5, 2 and 3. Again from the top. Then after that, back to E minor, just leave this pinky. So pluck again the string number 1 and 2 and 5. And then pluck the string number 3 open. Again from the top. And then after that, we will proceed to a... A7 sus 2 over C on the bass. So this is an inversion chord. So pluck the string number 1 and 2. And string number 5. And then pluck the string number 3 open. So that's all. So all in all, we have 5 chords already. Again from the top. G. Seven sus two over C. And then after that, D sus four. So just pluck this bass note fourth string. And then string number one and two. And then string number three. And then leave this pinky. So it's a D chord. Same plucking in D sus four. That's our first chord progression. I will repeat from the top. After that first chord progression, we will proceed to second chord progression. First chord is a G5. So it's a 
power chords. So first plucking is pluck the bass note, six string, and then string number one and two simultaneously. And pluck the string number three open, and then string number two third fret. Then after that, just stay your ring finger and pinky here and move it to fifth fret and place your index finger here in third fret sixth string. So this is a E minor 11 omitted 5 over G on the bass, meaning an E minor 11 without the fifth with the G bass. So just pluck the string number 6, 1, and 2 simultaneously. So this is a passing chord after G5. And then after that, E minor 7. So same plucking in G5. Pluck the string number 6, 1, and 2 simultaneously. Then string number 3 and 2. And then another passing chord. Just move this to 5th fret. So this is an A5 chord. Power chord. So just pluck it once. And then this chord is a C sus 2. So just pluck the string number 5, 1, and 2 simultaneously. And then string number 3 open. So that's all. Next chord is a D chord. So just pluck the string number 4, 1, and 2 simultaneously. And then string number 3. And then for the last chord, is a D sus 2 just leave this middle finger and pluck the string number 4 1 and 2 simultaneously and then string number 3 2 3 so that's your last note last chord again from the top I will repeat the second chord progression first chord G5 So that's the verse 1. So once again, from the top, I will repeat the first chord progression and second chord progression. So this is the normal speed. 3, 2, 1, and... That's all. So if you want to learn the chords for the verses, chorus, just click the link below for the part 2 tutorial of this song. Again, thank you for watching. God bless you all. Wash your hands. Keep safe. Bye for now.